Well, the price of groceries, of course, has gone up. But what if there was a way to make your food purchases last longer? Our consumer reporter Janice Lieberman has the real deal on ways to preserve your produce. We're changing our shopping strategy. We're buying less and shopping more often. An average family of four will toss 20 pounds of food a month and lose $2,000 a year. Well, to keep our food fresher longer, we asked a chef and wellness expert for her tips. Cauliflower rice is the rage, but buying it at the market is costly. Just keep a whole head of cauliflower on hand. It's going to last longer. Toss some florets in your food processor, and when you pulse, you've got DIY cauliflower rice for yourself. Cheaper and fresher. Give your green onions a new life. You're just going to trim your scallion about here when you cut, when you use it up down to that part. Tuck it in some water in your windowsill, and soon enough, you're going to have some shoots growing. And it works for other greens as well. Julie says skip the pre-made salad packages. Just pick up a whole head of lettuce. Don't wash it, because moisture is the lettuce's enemy. We're going to wrap it instead in a little bit of paper towel and foil. The paper towel keeps the moisture out, and then when you need some lettuce for your sandwich, you just open it up, pull out a chunk, rinse it off, and you're ready to go. You buy an avocado and they're so pricey, you eat a little bit and the rest gets brown. Here's what we're gonna do. First, you're gonna rub a little bit of lime juice on the surface, and this is my hot tip. Store your avocado on top of cut up onions, and the sulfur from the onions is going to help preserve your avocado and keep it from browning. Berries are so expensive and they spoil so quickly, so give us something that'll make that not happen. You're gonna take your berries and dunk them in a mixture of one part vinegar, three parts water, and that's gonna kill any lingering bacteria on the surface. Just rinse with water and place in your salad spinner to dry them out. Then line a container with paper towel and store your berries. For optimum freshness, make sure your refrigerator is set to 34 degrees and your freezer to zero. Use what you have in your fridge. Cooklist.com helps you find recipes for food you already have. Don't overcrowd your refrigerator. It will create warm spots which lead to spoilage. Also, when you're at checkout, use credit cards that give you cash back. Eat smart, buy smart. I'm Janice Lieberman, and that's The Real Deal. Do you want to know something really funny? What? My best friend, when she brings over salad, she always had paper towels in between the lettuce. I never knew why. <laughs> I just it, thought it was like a weird quirk. Oh, she was, she, was she ahead of the curve? <laughs> she was ahead This of is the Nikki? Curve. Yes. Yeah, of course. I should have known. <laughs> There's a scientific reason behind it. Okay. So